this problem of rule enforcers who take away choice uh, was prevalent in Jesus' day and in ours. In the Bible, one of the shortest books was written by uh, Pastor John. We have three little letters, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. And in 3rd John, he shows us that love and God are inseparable. And in that letter, he names Gaius as a person in the church who loved truth and empowered others through the gift of hospitality. And he warmly greeted Gaius and was so thankful for wonderful people like him. However, there were people in that church and in churches today who don't want to be limited to this God that Jesus revealed or the love that Jesus offered so openly. They wanted to make up their own idea of God and their own style of God's love, and they tend to be disruptive in the church. And in this short letter, John changed his tone and talked about another man named Diotrephes. And Diotrephes, he says, was someone in the church who loved to be first and didn't welcome John. So John says, when I come, I will call attention to what he's doing, spreading malicious nonsense about us. And not satisfied with that, Diotrephes even refuses to welcome other believers. He also stops those who don't want to do so and puts them out of the church. So there we have it, black and white. Some folks love to grab and hold power. Others are into power gifting. Couldn't be clearer which of the two God wants.